hi hi hello hello there welcome back to my channel uh between now and the last time i posted something uh i made my own render i, I made my own sketchbook with crescent render paper um i originally got the idea from peter draws uh i'm, I'm just kind of he 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 draws in this sketchbook a lot lately and uh man i've just I've just kind of had my eye on it, so I figured, uh, what's, what's it gonna hurt if I try to make my own? So I did. <clears throat> um, I got some 11 by 14 loose leaf crescent render paper and, uh, folded it up and, and sewed it all together. I made these two cover pieces. Uh, I wasn't originally going to, but, uh, I actually found another tutorial video that I used um, the, uh, link for that video is in the description. Um, the girl in the video, she, uh, she makes it out of, like, regular old mixed media paper, I think. And, um, yeah, she, uh, her book is probably, like, three times as big as, as mine turned out to be. Um, so, yeah, I did run into some trouble. I thought it would be a great idea to use this old, old ass, like, yarn uh previously shown there in 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 the video and uh it just wouldn't go through the holes and stuff so uh, i w wandered over to the store and bought some new needles because the needles i was using were breaking on me and like stabbing my fingers and it was just awful um so i bought this this uh white string um it's like the same type of string that you would make or that would use to make uh friendship bracelets and stuff you know remember those as a kid you'd like hang out and make friendship bracelets with your friends i don't know that that was just me maybe um but yeah i got some white because i thought it was kind of subtle and i don't know it just kind of makes the the book look sort of naked and and and, and cool i don't know <laughs> cool and naked you know um but yeah, I guess it, it took me like four hours maybe total. I took some breaks. I had a friend come over during this. And uh, I slept and I ate food. <laughs> and I watched Santa Clarita Diet a lot during during the production of this little book. Uh, which was great. You should watch it if you, if you care to. Um, anyway... <laughs> I don't know what my deal is lately, but I've gotten into the swing of drawing portraits. Um, this portrait is of my little brother. His name is Dixon. Um, my mother sent me some photos of him in his prom suit uh, the other day, and I thought I'd take a stab at drawing him. I haven't really drawn people that I'm familiar with. Uh, it's usually been celebrities or, you know, writers or some some other people in my, in my life that I don't actually know but admire for one reason or the other. And, uh, yeah, so I've, I've never dr drawn somebody that I know, and at least I, I can't remember if I have. So I found it remarkable how quickly this drawing started to look like him and I don't know maybe maybe it has something to do with with drawing features that you've spent so much of your life looking at um, but I, I found drawing Dixon remarkably easier than say drawing Charles Bukowski or uh, Jenna Marbles, or any of the other people that I've drawn here on my channel, for example. Um, yeah, I just, as soon as I started drawing his eyes, I just, I sat back and I was just kind of blown away at, at my ability to, to draw him. A um, little bit of backstory. Dixon, uh, he has a condition called Lowe's Syndrome, uh, which is a lot like Down's. There's some differences in chromosomal stuff that uh, will take forever to get into, but um, 
He's uh, he's 29 years old now. He's just two and a half years younger than I am, and um, he's uh, he's like the happiest person I know. Literally, he just he's just happy. He has all sorts of health problems, and you know stuff that would otherwise make a person really sad. But he is incredibly happy. He, he memorizes Disney movies and, and loves Spongebob Squarepants and laughs at just about anything. He's just... He's just a cool kid. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great week. Bye-bye.